Did you know that you do not need a large YouTube channel to start generating money? The way you do it is called affiliate marketing. But I want to encourage you in this training, you're going to learn some things that you've never heard before and some new information about really how you can start generating money without having to create your own product, without having to get monetized on YouTube. And I'm excited because today I have my friend, Pat Flynn, doing a deep dive masterclass for free, where you're going to learn some powerful strategies. In this very session, he's going to be talking about how to find the right product. This is a huge key, and he's going to be sharing tips on that. He's going to be then sharing some specific video strategies that will generate affiliate sales. And this is really cool because I haven't seen anybody else teach this. And then stick around until the end because he's also going to be teaching some of the legal things that you need to know. You want to stay in compliance with this. You don't want to get in trouble with this. And unfortunately, that's the missing piece of a lot of the other videos out there on YouTube. So buckle your seatbelt. This is a deep dive masterclass. And I want to encourage you to uh, really take some notes and get ready because you're going to learn a ton of really valuable information in this uh, video and training. So get ready. And I want to welcome today uh, my friend Pat Flynn for this training. Pat, how's it going? Uh, it's going awesome. Sean, I know affiliate marketing uh, has changed your life. Um, and I'm excited because we're going to hopefully change some lives today during this workshop. 100%. Yeah. For those that are maybe just hearing my story, you know, Think Media itself was started from me talking about cameras, camera tutorials, and making videos, and then being able to eventually get financial freedom, leave my nine to five, make money from home for my family through YouTube ad revenue and affiliate marketing. But it wasn't YouTube ad revenue that was paying the bills. It was affiliate marketing single-handedly at first before all the other stuff that we're doing at Think Media today that was able to have us reach that financial freedom. And I know you are like my favorite affiliate teacher. You have a whole program on it. And by the way, full disclosure for everybody, I actually asked Pat to share more information about how you can go to the next step at the end of this training in his one, two, three affiliate marketing uh, course. But either way, watch this entire video, whether that's right for you or not. And we'll tell you more about that later. But without further ado, I wanna dive into this core content. So are you ready to go, Pat? Yeah, I got a lot to share. A lot of the stuff I haven't really shared anywhere else. And specifically, because I know all of you who are watching this are doing video, you actually have a huge advantage over a lot of the other people I teach who aren't doing video. Because video is one of the most important things that you can use to show a product and show not just like what it could do for somebody, but how it actually works. And there's a huge advantage that you have over others. So I'm going to dive into the slides right now so that we can go in and just get started here. So let's pick this up. And I think, here we go. So this is income beyond ad revenue. And even, even before you get monetized on YouTube, you can use this stuff even on day one. So what I'm hoping is that you'll come away with this presentation with just some actionable things that you could probably do even in your next video or at least within the next month and start to see some revenue come in. I also want to be honest with you and just tell you, you're not going to be a millionaire overnight, but I have generated millions of dollars through this over the years and these things stack on each other as well because you can actually have one video perform and then it connects to another video and these things can continue to generate more income in all different kinds of ways. So video creators, get ready because we're about to dive in. Also, I just want to just give a big shout out to the entire Think Media team and especially you, Sean, because you've been so supportive of my work. I was even at your event in Vegas, which was just an absolute hit. One of my favorite events in a very long time that I've been to. Just so many amazing people have gotten to know a lot of great friends there. Vanessa uh, Lau and I connected at that event and just the amazing audience that showed up. You just put so much effort into to everything that you do to serve your audience. And uh, I just want to say thank you. And it was a lot of fun because uh, Sean and I got to take some fun, fancy photos together. We even did a fun little dance together, which was super fun. We literally just worked for like five minutes to learn this dance and do it. And yeah, it could have been done better. Jiggle, jiggle. But as we all know, when you get started with something for the first time, it's not always going to be great, but you have to be a disaster before you become the master, right? We're going to start off with this affiliate marketing thing. We're going to start from the beginning here. We're going to get into some advanced stuff as well. And I want to start with, well, what is affiliate marketing? If you've never heard this term before, it can be a little bit confusing, can be a little bit intimidating. But what really it is, it's generating an income by recommending other people's products, right? Like you might have your own products or might want to create your own products in the future. And of course, we all know what advertising is. But no, this is you essentially earning kind of a commission as a result of pointing customers to another company, right? So you have this audience 
and you have viewers and you have subscribers and fans and followers, and there are products out there that they could potentially purchase. It's you being the connector between these two things that allows this company to pay you as sort of a thank you, right? You're not asking your audience to pay more than they would just so that you can get something, but it's this company thanking you and giving you sort of like a commission as a reward. Now you might be wondering like, Pat, like why would a company pay you when they could get those customers themselves? Well, the truth is they can't. This is the leverage that you have over these companies because you, especially being a YouTuber, you have an audience an audience that they couldn't get in front of themselves or it would cost a lot of money in order to do so. So they'd rather share that money with a creator like you. Two, authority. You have a presence, you have respect, you have the ability to say things and recommend things and people will listen to you. And of course that comes along with trust as well. Now this is different than a brand deal. A brand deal is a company paying you X number of dollars, you know, hundreds, maybe sometimes thousands of dollars to mention a product in a video in a certain kind of way with a script or in a mid roll in the middle of the video or what have you, right? That's a brand deal. This is a little bit different. This is you getting a link from this company. You put that link into your video, into the description and any time from now until as long as that video still exists or you still have this partnership with them, you will earn a commission. And that's the cool thing about this, right? You could make unlimited amounts of money in this way versus just a specific amount up front. And that's the big thing about affiliate marketing. In fact, I found that I've made way more with affiliate marketing than I have with any brand deals or sponsorships I've ever had, right? The other benefits of affiliate marketing are this. You don't need to spend time to create your own products. These products that people are buying or going to buy already exist. You just need to be the connector between those products and the customers that are out there. And that is your audience, of course. Customer service is entirely handled or mostly handled by that company, right? So all you need to do is send people through that link and then everything else is taken care of. Of course, this is just banking on the fact that hopefully they take good care of those people and that there is good customer service and that product is doing what it should be doing, which is why selecting the right product is really, really important. And we'll talk about exactly the right kinds of things that would make sense for you in just a minute. Next, it's scalable, whether it's one person going through that link or 100,000 people going through that link. There's not really additional work on your end that needs to be done. Next, it can work for all stages of business, whether you are the beginner and you're in your first video, you're creating your first video, you can do affiliate marketing. You don't need to wait till you get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. You can do this right now. And it definitely works, of course, when you have amassed a bigger audience or you've tapped into browse and um, search and suggested traffic on YouTube in all different kinds of ways. You can create long lasting partnerships. This is often overlooked and something that we talk about a lot in my course, which is a lot of these brands that you are an affiliate for, they actually know how important you are to their success to a point where they are willing to sometimes send you things for free, right? Sean, you know this, doing a lot of camera reviews. A lot of these companies will send you stuff before anybody else can get access to it so that you can review it and do some stuff on YouTube for it. Like that's very common in, in the world of YouTube. But you can also um, leverage a higher commission. You can also leverage better deals for your audience. And you can create these long lasting partnerships so much in fact that a lot of the companies that I've been an affiliate for back in the day, I'm now an advisor to the company. I actually own shares of those companies now as a result, which is pretty cool. And it can become super passive. You can create these things once, especially as a video creator, and they can continue to work for you over time. And you can get started right now. So in this presentation, again, this is a workshop, whether you have your notepads ready, or you're going to come back and watch this replay. And also shout out to the replay uh, crew watching this. Here are the things that we're going to discuss the biggest mistakes that newbie affiliate marketers make and how to avoid them. A five point product test for high converting product promotion. We're going to talk about how to find the right products. And there's five things that you need to pay attention to in order to make it work and give you the best chance of making the most money in a genuine way. Number three, specific video strategies. This is what's cool is I've pulled from my own YouTube channel the videos that have worked and why. And I want to share those with you so that you can replicate the same results too. Number four, the affiliate marketer's secret weapon. And I use this secret weapon to make more money and get more organic traffic as well. Number five, rules to keep in mind. This is illegal stuff so you don't get in trouble or banned. And throughout this entire presentation, you can check out the cases, uh, the case studies and examples, and I want you to take them and use them for yourself as well. Excuse me. 
And if you stick around to the end, I also have a free gift for you as well that you can take home uh, with you. All right, here's the big promise. The big promise is not, like I said, millions of dollars overnight, yachts and Lamborghinis. I mean, although that could potentially happen, that's not what I'm promising you. What I'm promising you is number one, you're gonna have a better understanding of this world of affiliate marketing and understand what to promote and how to promote them. I want you to promote things in a way where your audience will actually thank you for that. That's the beauty of this is everybody can win. You can win because you're getting a commission. The product company can win because they're getting more customers. And the customer is going to win because you've pointed them to the right product that's going to help them. And they will thank you for that. And that's great because you can get paid and get thanked at the same time. Number two, you'll be able to potentially generate people who've watched uh, this kind of stuff from me before uh, and, and who I teach in my courses. Within a month, they're often able to make an additional $500 a month almost right off the bat by implementing some of the stuff. Now, that obviously depends on where you're at now and your, your reach and whatnot, but I'm going to teach you some stuff that's going to hopefully get you there. And you're going to understand the affiliate marketing language to help you get started. A lot of what you're going to see today is literally coming straight out of my course, and I wanted to give it to you because Sean is my friend. and I wanted to help out. Any friend of Sean is a friend of mine, so you are my friend. <laughs> a little bit about my story, though. If you don't know who I am, my name is Pat Flynn. I actually started out my first online business in 2008, helping people pass an architectural exam. This is the exam right here. It's called the lead exam, and it's helping people with green architecture. I actually came from the world of architecture, got laid off in 2008, and I built my business helping people pass this exam. Now, I had my own study guide that I created, and I sold it for $19.95. You can see a banner for it there at the top, and that's how I started making my money online for the first, uh, at first, was selling my own product. But then I started to realize that there were other companies I could work with. And I worked with these other companies in a very traditional kind of way. For example, there's this company, Green Building Education Services, who had an exam that was online that you could take, a simulated exam that cost 80 bucks. And I worked with them in this way. Hey, I have a website. I have traffic. How would you like to advertise on my website? And they said, sure. So they decided to pay me $100 a month to have a banner on my website. And I thought I was making out good. Like a hundred bucks that I didn't have before just to advertise on my website. Cool, that sounds good. But then I discovered this thing called affiliate marketing. And I discovered that they had what they called a referral program. Sometimes it's known as a partner program. So if you are a um, user of a product and they don't have an affiliate program, check out partner programs or referral programs. Now they didn't have this at the bottom of their website like many uh, companies and products have. I actually asked them and they said, yeah, it's invite only, but yeah, we'd love to have you be a part of it. And I said, okay, well, what are the terms? And they said, for every person that you send over that becomes a customer, we'll give you $22, 22 out of the 80. So, you know, pretty good percentage, about 30% commission. And I said, okay, well, all I need to do is send maybe five people through per month and then I'll have, you know, surpassed the $100 that I was making uh, doing the banner advertising. The first month that I connected my affiliate link to my website, I had over 150 people join. So 150 times $22 was way more than the $100 I was making per month as just you know a banner ad or a sponsored type of situation. So that was my first introduction to affiliate marketing and it changed the game for me. Now it was at this point I started my website that many people know me from now, which is called the Smart Passive Income Blog. This is what it looked like back then. It's changed a little bit. It looks a little bit nicer now. But I wanted to show you, again, you got to be a disaster before you become the master. This is what it looked like. Messy start. But since 2008, I've generated a load of amazing success as a result of being there to help entrepreneurs, whether you're a video creator, a blogger, um, physical products, digital products, etc. SPI, Smart Passive Income, is there to help you, which is really exciting. Now, I have a YouTube channel as well. It's gone through a number of different phases, but we're currently sitting at, you know, 350 plus thousand subscribers over the years. I've learned a lot. And most of those subscribers came just in the last couple of years because I finally got my head on straight learning from people like Sean and whatnot, what works and what doesn't. And so you're in the right spot. But I have a lot of videos that have done very well to help entrepreneurs there. I also have another YouTube channel in the Pokemon collection space. Pokemon has just become a huge part of my life since the pandemic. And I started a YouTube channel because there were some clear holes that I thought I could fill. And it's definitely been working. We just crossed 228,000 subscribers this morning. And I'm making money, yes, through affiliate marketing and advertising and sponsorships here on this channel as well. And it's less than two years old, which is incredible. I have podcasts. Many people know me for my podcast. Smart Passive Income has seen over 65 million total downloads. 
And I've also authored some books. My first book, Let Go. My second book, Will It Fly, which was a Wall Street Journal bestseller, even as a self-published book. And my latest book, Superfans, which, yes, that is Mr. Beast at VidSummit giving away my book. Uh, so very, very in tune with the world of YouTube. And I'm just so grateful that that happened because that was really cool. I also have courses. A lot, again, of what you're about to see comes from my course, 123 Affiliate Marketing. And then we also have a community, uh, SPI Pro. And over the years, you know, these are all different kinds of things that generate income for me. I've generated over $7.5 million in revenue since 2008. 50% of that has come from affiliate marketing. 50%. That is an insane number. Sean talked about how affiliate marketing changed his life. It's definitely changed my life as well. And so we're just going to dive right in. If you're in the chat right now and you're ready to get started, hook me up with your favorite emoji because we are about to begin if you're excited about diving in. So, Sean, are we ready to dive in? I know that you're kind of letting me loose here, but I just want to check yep. in. Yeah, it's amazing, Pat. I'm so fired up. My favorite emoji, emoji is the cross swords. I'm about to drop it. And here we go. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, fire emoji is my favorite one. So let's dive in. The top two mistakes wannabe affiliate marketers make, people who attempt affiliate marketing and they don't do it very well. This may be you, right? You attempted this, you've heard about it, you've promoted a few things here and there, but you just aren't getting some good income from it. The top two mistakes are number one, choosing the wrong products to promote. This is the most important thing because when you align the product to the problems or the pains or the challenges that your target audience has, well, a lot of it will happen automatically. A lot of the success will happen automatically because that product is perfectly aligned. So we're going to dive into a five-point strategy to help you pick the right products in just a minute. But that is definitely the biggest mistake is choosing the wrong products to promote. If you are promoting products because it has a good commission, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You have to do it primarily first because it solves a problem. And then it just so happens to also offer you commissions on the back end as well, right? Whenever I've done anything, with thinking about how am I going to make the most money first, it's usually been going down the wrong road and has not worked out for me. But whenever I think about how can I serve first, just like my shirt says, it's always worked out really, really well. So that's that's how you find the right product. And number two, dull promotional strategies. We think that just like one review video is going to do it for us. No, we're going to talk about some strategies and some intertwined web type stuff that we're going to do within our channels that are gonna help us maximize our efforts and see the most revenue come in. So what kinds of things can you promote as an affiliate? Well, you can promote all kinds of things, physical products, digital products, software, coaching programs, uh, services, online courses, books, events, like all that kind of stuff can be promoted as an affiliate. You can generate an income by recommending things. And that's really what affiliate marketing is. It's you sharing from your place of knowledge, from your place of expertise and experience your recommendations for things that can help serve a person in some way, shape, or form. But all kinds of things can be promoted as an affiliate. But here is the process by which you're going to do it correctly. Step one, we got to find the right product. And it always starts with the problem. You've got to know the problem or the pains of your target audience. If you don't know this, then none of the rest of this stuff will matter. You have to know what your audience is going through so that you can understand what products can serve them through that, right? That's step number one. If you can define the problem, and oftentimes if you can actually describe it even better than they can, they're gonna automatically assume that you already have the solutions. So when you nail down not just what the problem is, but the language that your target audience uses to describe that problem, you've done half the battle there. And now you can find products that relate to that. And when you find a product that relates to that problem, you have to be able to know what's the promise of that product. I promise, I mean, what's the transformation? What's the outcome? What's the thing that's going to happen after that product is used? Nobody buys products because of the product. People buy products because of what that product's going to do for them, right? People don't buy online courses because they don't wake up in the morning and go, oh, I can't wait to buy an online course today, right? They buy what the result of that course is going to give them, right? They buy their future state inside of that product, whether it's a physical product, digital product, whatever, the thing that they're going to do with it is what they're looking forward to buying, not like the product itself, right? So the better that you can understand and relay what the promise of that product is, the better. Now, a person might see that you have nailed down exactly what they're going through. They might also see this product that you have in front of them that they are like intrigued about. But you know what they're also gonna say to themselves? Well, how do I know this is actually gonna work, right? They're always gonna say that to themselves. 
And that's why a video creator benefits more than anybody else when it comes to helping with that objection, because this is where you can show proof. You can show people, literally show people with your videos, proof that this thing actually fulfills this promise, right? That is the huge benefit that you as a video creator have is showing that proof. If you, if you leave out the proof when you showcase these videos, then it's not gonna work at all. Now there's a additional source of proof that will work even better. And that's your own personal experience. When you can bring in your own um, challenges, your own struggles and how this product help you overcome them, then that's when you're gonna get the maximum uh, opportunity and the maximum revenue, right? It's not just proof that somebody else, it worked for somebody else, but it's proof that it worked for me and you using your creative video elements and your storytelling and your camera work to be able to showcase that story Mm, that's just that's just a, a, a recipe for success right there. And then finally, on top of that, once you have the videos published, it's the promotional strategies. It's not just publishing the video that's going to do it. It's the way you publish the video. It's how you campaign once that video is published. And again, we're going to get into all of those efforts today, I promise you. But I wanted to give you this sort of headspace stuff first, because if you don't nail the right product, none of the strategies matter at all. In fact, if you nail the wrong product and you have good strategy, I mean, you're just going to faster ruin your reputation, right? If you promote a product and it doesn't do what it promised and it actually was promoted because you're just in it for the commissions and wanting to make money, eventually it catches up to you, right? Sure, you might make a lot of money up front, but eventually people are going to have a bad experience. They're not going to trust you. They're going to move on. We don't want that to happen, right? Here's the ultimate strategy. Like the one big takeaway from this, the big principle behind what makes this work is... I mean, the big struggle is really it's promoting other people's products. It's it's not your own product, but here's the secret. You want to promote these products that aren't yours as if they were yours. If you promoted your own product, you would take a lot more time and effort to showcase how beneficial this thing is for your audience, right? You wouldn't just do a video about your own product and then move on. You would talk about it in depth. You would talk about it in different kinds of ways. You would show a lot more proof behind it. But yet when we promote other people's or other companies' products, we don't do that for some reason, but you should. And this is what's gonna help you stand out from everybody else creating the same old review videos. It's what's gonna help you stand out from the other creators who are also promoting that same product. They're gonna come to you because you're telling people about it in all different kinds of ways because you're treating it as if it's your own product. And imagine a person asking, asking you a question about that product. If you can answer it as if it was your own, they're gonna have a lot more trust in you. They're gonna say, you know what? I believe you. I know that you've used this product, it shows, and you're giving me some direction here, fantastic, I'm in. And they're gonna go through your link so that you get credit for it and that company will pay you as a result. Now, the starting point can be very difficult, and this is especially helpful if you're just starting out. Again, if you're a small creator, you actually benefit from the fact that you can do this right up front, even with your first video. But you might have a question like, well, where do I even begin, Pat? How do I know what product to even promote? There's two things that you can do to help you. Number one, Ask people what they are already buying. If you have even 10 people in your audience, you can ask them the question, what was the latest purchase you made that was so helpful to help you get to your goal or help you toward that goal? They're gonna tell you literally what they're buying. Now, those people have already purchased the product, but if you're attracting people just like them, they might also benefit from a recommendation for that same product as well. So this could be a very easy way for your audience to just guide those decisions for you. My favorite thing to do in business is to remove the guesswork as much as possible. The best way to do that is to utilize the audience that you have. And if you don't have access to an audience yet, find where those audiences exist and find out where they're talking, where they're having discussions. They're already having these discussions about the things that they're already buying that are helpful. They're already having discussions about these problems and pains and challenges that they're having. Go find those discussions that are happening in those groups, in those forums, on those communities, in social media, and you can better determine what your next steps will be. So asking people what they're already uh, buying is great. It's also a great way to start a conversation with those companies because you can say, hey, my audience is already buying your product. How can we work together so I can get more of my audience involved? Let's do, let's, let's work out a partnership together or do you have an affiliate program, et cetera. Number two, this is a great one. Start with the first step. If you have an audience and you know that they're going on a journey to something, what is the first step in that journey, right? With my audience, for example, with Smart Passive Income, their journey was building a business and a brand or a personal brand to be able to build a 
lifestyle business, to be able to create products online, to be able to do affiliate marketing, but they're going to need a website to start. That's one of the first steps. So one of my first videos was this video right here, how to build a blog in less than four minutes, because I wanted them to understand how to build a blog. And so of course I teach them how to do this. And within this video, I show them exactly what product to use and how to use it. I demonstrate it. I show proof and I show proof that I actually use the same hosting company. And as a result, this video, which is very poorly done, it was before I understood how to create a good hook. There's literally like 20 seconds of music at the beginning of this video, which like is not the way you should do it nowadays, obviously. But even still, this had 230, 250,000 views. This one video showing people how to get a result because of this is the first step that they wanted to know about has accounted for over $185,000 in earnings. This just this one video because it just it, it helps them through that first step and it provides value, but also shares the tool that I used along the way. So again, what is that first step that your audience is going to need to go through? Showcase a video. And if there happens to be tools related to that, that you can promote as an affiliate, interject them in that and everybody will be happy. So pick the right products with step number one. Step number two is passive promotional strategies. What I love about passive promotional strategies, just like passive income, right? You can set it up and it will continue to work for you over time. Number two, it's the ultimate value first strategy, the way that I'm about to share with you, right? You do these things. It actually shows that you are of expertise, that you have value to share first. You're giving first, right? If the first interaction that you have with your audience is a give me type of interaction, like a very you-centric interaction, then they're not going to be open to these recommendations that you have. But if you're giving first, if you're giving them something and helping them transform already, then the ask or the recommendation comes with a lot more open-mindedness and they're more likely to take advantage of that offer that you're giving them. So it's the ultimate value first strategy. And then finally, you can get organic traffic through this as well. So here's how this works. I'm just going to show you some videos that have worked really well for me. Phase one of this strategy is what I like to call the ultimate all of you are ever needs tutorial. So you create a tutorial that is so in-depth that that in and of itself could serve them, right? So in this case, this is an email marketing in 2022 workshop, right? It literally goes through everything a person might need to know with relation to email marketing. Now in this video, I teach strategies for email marketing, but I happen to also use a tool in particular along the way. And I mentioned that tool throughout. It's mentioned in the description. That tool is called ConvertKit. There's a lot of other great email service providers, but that's the one I'm an affiliate for in this single video with only 19,000 views. That's not a ton has already accounted for over $3,000 in earnings per month because it's a recurring income revenue. Some products pay you monthly so long as a person stays. That's sort of the holy grail of passive income. Not all products do that. If you promote a microphone on Amazon, for example, people aren't you know paying monthly to get access to that microphone like they are for certain software. So you only get paid one time. But again, those are still important too because those are things you're already talking about anyway and they stack up over time. But this one video by going deep into the topic and then mentioning the tools along the way has served really, really well. Here's another example. In fact, this one's performed even better. This is a video I published four years ago, how to start a podcast. People know me for podcasting. And I said, you know what? I'm going to just teach everything. And guess what? I also have a course about podcasting and people still go and pay for the more detailed stuff, for access to me, for access to the community. So you might be like, Pat, I don't want to give everything away for free. Well, you can, and you can still have some paid things on top of it. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. But this is how to start a podcast, complete tutorial, equipment, and software. 1.4 million views. Here, I talk about equipment, like microphones. And of course, I drop in my affiliate link for that. But I also include the software, and I include affiliate links for that inside of these tutorials as well. I also include a link to the podcast hosting provider that I offer and partnered with in there as well, plus podcasting services like editing services and management. All of these tools are mentioned in this tutorial, but people see this tutorial and go, oh my gosh, you're giving this away for free? This is incredible value and everybody can win because they wanna go through the same steps that you do. Your audience wants to go through the same process you did. 
if the end result is where they want to go to. So the end result here is a podcast up on Apple and Spotify and Google Podcasts, et cetera. So people follow the steps. Step four, get hosting. Where do I get it? Oh, I'm going to take Pat's recommendation because he's given all this free information for free. Are we seeing how this works? I want to make sure we all follow. Now, this video was published four years ago. And the beauty of this is just every couple of years, you can just update it. So here was the latest one that was published six months ago with literally the same kind of thing, promoting the newer microphone that people should get, promoting the software, the hosting company, which was the same as the previous one. And these videos have been doing very, very well. Now, this is phase one, a tutorial style video in depth about a topic that your audience, you know, you know that they want to know about. And if you just so happen to have tools that can help them along the way or help speed up the process, even better. I did one, I don't have a, a screenshot for it here, but I also taught keyword research a lot for search engine optimization back in the day. And so I did these very in-depth keyword research tutorials. And I, start, I did it in this way. You create the uh, free way to do it and then show the headache free way to do it, right? So imagine a video tutorial, it teaches you how to do keyword research for free, but it takes 15 minutes and these spreadsheets and it just takes a lot of time and effort but you can do it for free using these tools Google gives you. Or that's the free way to do it. In the same video, that's how you do it for free. I'm providing value, right? Or you can do everything I just showed you in 15 minutes in 10 seconds using this tool here. So now a person can go, hey, you just created this video because you wanted to make money. No, I gave you the free way to do it. But now I'm also juxtapositioning the free way, which is hard and long, with the headache free way, people can clearly see the value of the tool that I'm offering to do all that stuff for, for, for just such faster time that they're gonna click on that link because you've given them value. And again, everybody wins. So again, that's, that's a cool thing. Remember, free way versus headache free way in the same video could be a great strategy for you. So that's phase one, the ultimate all of you or might ever need kind of video. Phase two. Create a video optimized for each one of those tools that you mentioned, right? And the beauty of this is YouTube can recognize that you're now starting to become an authority in that space. You didn't just create the all-in-one tutorial. You're creating the little mini things that are also related to that. So even without having to, I mean, you obviously should, in your description, point all these together like an intertwined web. You should point one, uh, or like one of your end screen um one of your end screen links should be to your, you know, all in one or all you need video. You're from phase one. But as you can see, I have videos on microphones. That was a specific moment in this bigger video, but I go in, in even more depth, right? Best mics under $75. What if you're like a big question I often got was, well, how do I record a podcast on the go? Cool. I created a video to answer that question that then points back to that main one. And each of these, as you can see, has 60, 70,000 views. And within each of these, I have affiliate links for the microphones. I have affiliate links for that Rode uh, portable microphone for, uh, that goes with the iPhone, et cetera. Software, check out how these ran. 367,000 views. Wow, same number of views as number of subs. I just noticed that. And then the Audacity one, 593,000 views. Now with these videos in particular, yes, I do talk about the software here. These tools are free. So there is no affiliate commission that comes from these. That's okay. Remember what I said earlier, create the content and the videos that will support your audience and solve their problems first. If they happen to include a tool with a commission, awesome. Does that mean if it doesn't include a commission, you shouldn't publish it? No way. You are here to provide value. And so these tools to talk, these two tutorials that you're seeing, which are the software components of, of podcasting, no, they don't come with a commission but you should still publish them anyway, because guess what? People come in from the Audacity tutorial, like the 600,000 views, and then they go to the main the, the main one that does have the affiliate links in them, right? You can see how they're all sort of intertwined now. Here's one for hosting, 188,000 views, 105,000 views, all specifically about that one component of the bigger picture, which is the podcast hosting, right? And what happens when you do this over time, it doesn't happen overnight but you're gonna to start to see all of them rise together. All these videos in this one category, all based off of that all a person might need video begin to rise. And then you begin to own that category. That's eventually what happens. If you look up podcasting, it changes for every viewer and it changes often 
uh, because YouTube always moves the rankings around. And oftentimes I see Sean in the think media, media videos in there too. I saw, I know you guys targeted podcasting and I see you in there and you're doing the exact same thing. And I love it. But as you can see, if you search podcasting, I did this the other day. Look, I have three of the four top videos on podcasting, which is, which is crazy because now at this point I can create the more browse and the more suggested traffic type videos, right? Like watch this before starting a podcast, five things they don't tell you, very clickable title. And anyone looking for podcasting is now gonna click on that. Almost a half million views since a year ago. 50 podcast tips in 15 minutes. Just published pretty recently, it's doing okay. But again, I'm owning this space now on YouTube and you can own that space for you too. What happens when you do this, this is that podcasting tutorial, these are the analytics. Yes, it's getting a lot of views because a lot of those other videos are pointing people toward it, right? Look at it's look at YouTube search on the right hand side as far as like um, views go. You might think that a majority of these views are coming from search. They're not. They're actually coming from suggested videos. That is from my other videos and other people's videos on the channel as well. And there are some uh, there's there is some traffic coming from my own website too. But look at the estimated revenue. 7,000 from ad revenue. That's YouTube ad revenue. This video, this single video has accounted for, or this single strategy, not just this video, but all those videos together intertwined, like I said, has accounted for five to $6,000 in earnings from affiliate revenue per month. This is earning way more than the YouTube ad revenue. All these things combined, again, because a lot of this stuff does have recurring income, is providing a massive, massive, reliable income. Um, so it's not just about the video. Remember I said the worst thing you can do is create one review video and call it quits? No. You need to treat these things like they're your own products. And then you can take ownership of that space on YouTube and actually... You know, Think Media has done a really good job of this with relation to a lot of video related things. And it's, again, been interesting, Sean, to see you creep into my space a little bit. And now we're like, you know, but it's OK. It's OK, because it's all it's all forcing me to think about, OK, how can I create better content? And that's ultimately what's best for the audience. Right. So I love that. And that's that's it's just it's just performing way better than just the ad revenue alone. The affiliate earnings on top of that is what's what's driving it. It's, it's just so neat. Step three. So that was passive because those are those videos are doing work for me now. Like as we speak, people are finding them and it's doing the work for me. And I'm going to see more commission come in tomorrow as a result of that. Right now, active promotional strategies are a little bit different. These are ones that are usually time based, like a, a thing is going to happen. An event is going to happen at a certain time. But you can use these things to create a lot more excitement, sort of, you know, a lot of hype and, and excitement uh, around a specific time period. It does take a lot more time to do, but you can often get better results. And I want to give you an example of this. It's not video specific, but imagine how you can use this in your video channel. Um, this is uh, what I like to call the small win challenge. Challenges are absolutely a fantastic way to mobilize your audience to not just get things done and get results, but also lead into an affiliate offer. So this relates to my email affiliate um, partnership with ConvertKit, and I'll show you how. So we have a challenge. It's a free Challenge. You can do this on a video. You can do this with live streams on your videos or, or on a separate email list that you might have built over time. But we run these challenges and they work really, really well. This is a zero to 100 email subscriber challenge in three days. So in 72 hours, if you take this challenge again free, you'll have hopefully 100 email subscribers, not 1,000, not 10,000. Why? Because that seems so out of reach. It needs to be a small win within a small time period that a person can dedicate to it. So here's what happens. We're providing a small challenge related to their first step, right? They want to get started with email marketing. Cool. Here's your first step is get 100 emails. The affiliate product naturally fits as step number two. So the way that this challenge works is you go to 100emails.com. You get an email sent to you. One, uh, like when we first did this, it was live. Now it's been automated. But the first one, we had 14,000 people participate. And it ran between a 72 hour period on the calendar that everybody started at the same time, everybody ended at the same time. That's why there was a lot of hype for it. There was a Facebook group uh, to go along with it and all this stuff. Day one, they all get sent an email, just an email, nothing else. They just get a sen send an email with their first steps. Day two, they get day two steps. Day three, they get day three steps. And that's a challenge. 
day four is where this number two point comes in. Day four was like, hey, congratulations. You got a, a hundred emails. Some people got a thousand. Some people only got 50, but still they did more than they ever did before. And day four says, hey, now your next steps are the following. You need to get an email service provider to put all these emails into so you can start sending broadcasts and start to collect more emails on your website. So here's what I recommend. I recommend using ConvertKit. Here's the link for it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how we led from this challenge. We help them get a quick win, a result, something that they've never gotten before into now what the product is, right? So you can imagine this product that you find that you want to promote. What might be a little tiny step before that that can open up their eyes and vision to then getting access to that product and using it for themselves? This has worked so well. And this is accounted for over... I don't, I don't even know what the number is, but it's definitely accounted for, you know, over six figures in earnings since we began this challenge a number of years ago, which is just incredible. Uh, and then number three, the challenge is cool too, because people can share the challenge with each other. It could spread virally, which is really amazing. Another thing, uh, another thing that has worked, um, I know I don't do this personally, but I know a number of people who have, I should be doing this, but I just wanted to share it with you because you might have an opportunity to do this right now. If you have a video that's providing you some affiliate revenue already, Right. And different products will pay you different amounts. So, you know, you want to do this with a product that's serving you really, really well. You can take some of those earnings, put it into a YouTube ad campaign that gets you more views on that video. And this becomes this beautiful machine. I know of two or three people who are making over six figures just doing this. They find a video that works. Not all of them work, but they find a video that works. It pays them well from those affiliate commissions. They then take some of that money that they got from commissions and put it into ads so that more people can watch that video who would who, who just aren't able to find them through search or through browser or suggested. And so now this machine comes because now those viewers who come in from those ads are now watching those videos, paying for those products, and you're getting more commission. And this can just continue to cycle through and grow bigger and bigger. So that's what we like to call the machine. All right, now on to the affiliate marketer's secret weapon. Now, the secret weapon is, yes, using video, but a very specific kind of video, and that is the demo video. Not a review, a demo, a demonstration of how the product is used. And the reason why this works so well is because people use YouTube to see things before they buy them, right? People want to see what it's going to be like before they spend their money. And this can be done with digital products. It can be done with physical products. On the left, I have a ConvertKit demo where I show people how to use ConvertKit. Again, it's not even a review. It's, hey, let me show you how this works once you get it. And with the microphones on the right-hand side for physical products. All of my highest converting campaigns use demo videos on YouTube to support them. Works for all different kinds of products, digital, physical, courses, etc. And number three, it can help you get organic traffic as well. So not only are you getting an affiliate commission from this, not only is it become a very great resource that you can use in courses inside of your website, inside of other playlists that you might have, right? Because these things, hey, I mentioned ConvertKit on my email list. Cool. Here's a video showing you exactly what it's like once you get it. There it is. It's a perfect resource visual that can help people with their decision. But here's some tips. Number one, find other videos about that product and create a better one. That's it. And you know what it, what it, what that means. Uh, create a, a, a better title and thumbnail. Create a better hook at the beginning of the video. Sean is a master of hooking people, so definitely pay attention and get inspiration from him. Make yours better. Help people stick around longer, and your video will now surpass the others. It'll get suggested more. It'll also surpass them in search eventually. Number two, show off how simple it is to use. This is what people want. The big mistake a lot of people do with reviews, like if, if I'm reviewing this K2 Keychron keyboard, the bad demo video would be one that goes into literally every single feature. Now this keyboard has a lot of features, right? And I could talk probably for 30 or 40 minutes about this. But again, part of this is to excite people enough to wanna go and buy it. This is not an instruction manual. That's the big difference here of the demo. I wanna show two or three things that are just awesome about this and maybe even share a couple things that I think could be done better or how I would improve it, right? This is what people want. I, people want to see how simple this is to use. When you start getting into, all right, now a secret here is if you do these seven different things, this unlocks for you and it opens up. 
that's too much already. That can be a separate video that can be used to provide more value to people who've already purchased it. This is for people who you want to click on those links. Two or three things that show them how easy it is to use. Just two or three things that may be the most mind-blowing things or the things that most relate to the challenge or problem, or maybe you've had enough experience with this product that you know that there's um, you know, a big you know, learning curve up front. You can help them get over that, right? And then two or three things, show them how easy it is to use. And now they're going to be excited. They're, they're mirror neurons. If you want to get into psychology and neuro, uh, neuroscience, people have mirror neurons in their brain that when they see somebody else doing something that excites them, they, go, they want to go and do that thing too. So we're taking an advantage of that here. Two or three things with that product that make them go, oh, I want that too. And now they're going to click on your link to go and get it. Number three, obviously, you want to publish on YouTube. Yes, you want to optimize it. But you can optimize it either. And yes, you can have both. But I prefer when I create a video to either optimize it for search. So I have keywords and the name of that product there. And in the thumbnail, if you have the name of the product in the title, you also want to include the logo of that item in the thumbnail. Because that's the story you're telling people when they search for that thing, they find that thing, they see that thing. Now they click that thing, right? Now, if I'm optimizing for browse or suggested, which has much bigger opportunity, then I'm going to have a title that doesn't even necessarily mention the name of that tool, but it relates to the specific problem or, 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 or curiosity that a person might have so that they click on it, right? And the, thumb, and the thumbnail will sort of support that. So here's an example. So I am an affiliate for a product called Descript. Descript is really cool. It's a cool editing program. The neat thing about it is I can record a video or audio. And if I want to edit my audio or video, I can just use the automatically generated transcript. I can highlight the part of the, the transcript that I want to get, uh, get rid of, hit delete, and it automatically edits that audio or video for you, right? I can edit using the transcript, which is pretty crazy. They also have this pro tool called Overdub. And what Overdub does is I can record my voice for a certain number of minutes. And the AI, the automated artificial intelligence, I was like, what does AI stand for? Uh, the, the tool will learn my voice. And let's say I record a podcast episode and I forgot to say something like a, like a, like a date or something. I can type into the transcript that date and the tool will read it as my voice. It's kind of mind blowing and very scary. And I was like, you know what? I wanna highlight this tool and, and those features about it. I think this is really neat. So I created a couple of videos to support me wanting to introduce this tool, but also wanting to take advantage of the fact that I am an affiliate for this. So here was video number one. This new audio and video editor is a game changer. Auto transcriptions and screen recording too. So this is a browse and, ho uh, and, and, and home uh, sort of based video, right? It doesn't mention Descript at all. It doesn't even have the logo in it. But this is because I wanted to capture people's attention. A lot of my audience knows me for podcast editing. So I thought that this would capture their attention. And it has 47,000 views. This was published nine months ago. And people watch it and it introduces them to this tool. And then they click on it to become uh, a user. And then I get a commission. Now I created a second video. I wanted to really showcase this overdub tool. Now I could have said, Descript's overdub tool is amazing or wow overdub changes uh, or overdubs ai you know uh, copied my voice but i was like you know what i've been doing youtube for a while we need to really capture people's attention here and i'm not even going to mention overdub that people who never seen or heard of that, that that's a wasted word how can i get people to click on a video about this really cool audio sort of voice uh, copying tool and get them interested in Descript. Well, here is the video. This audio editing tool deep faked my voice with eye emojis, actually useful or scary. This was the second video I published just a week later and look how many views it has. One million views in just nine months. And the thumbnail tells a story with that title, right? This is, this is what we're learning about titles and thumbnails, how they need to play with each other in some way. As you can see, it's like, oh, uh, like I'm reacting in a way like it's almost scary. It copied my voice. You don't even need to know exactly what those things are on the screen. It's like, it makes you go, what? I need to click on this. And when when this plays, it just demonstrates this up front and 
then I show people how to use it. I talk about the tool. I talk about Descript. This has accounted since nine months ago for several commissions into Descript. And it's actually as of June 2021. This has increased since then, obviously. $12,244.56 in commissions simply from creating a couple videos and being smart about the approach with them. And again, those two videos were a suggested and browse approach because I didn't include the title of that video. I am now this month creating videos specifically about Descript so that when a person searches for Descript, they find my video and they, they see the, the, the logo of Descript and they wanna click on it to learn more. And this is how I'm gonna hopefully own the Descript space inside of YouTube because a lot of people are now catching on to this tool and how I, this is how I wanted to get in front of it. This is one tool in nine months has generated $12,000. Imagine doing this with other tools as well. You can do this. And the cool thing about this is you don't need subscribers. Most 95%, actually probably 99% of the viewers of these videos are not subscribers. I hope that's encouraging for you, right? Because the subscribership, we all get so worried about how many subscribers we have. I would worry more about how do we get more people who don't know who I am to find my videos. And when you understand that, then you know not to start your videos with, hey, it's Pat here, welcome back to the channel. You get right into the thing that they clicked on for, and then you earn the right to be able to introduce yourself and get that subscriber. And remember, people are subscribing to you not because of the video they just watched. They're subscribing because of the videos that they know or are hopefully gonna come from you and into their home feed next. Right, a big mental shift there that really changes the game for me as well. Anyway, just getting a little sidetracked here. The legalities of this is really important too, right? We're closing in on the end here, but this is really important. It's gonna go really quick. I'm not a lawyer, by the way, but just keep this in mind. When you are doing affiliate marketing, you must disclose the affiliate relationship that you have with the company. You, you must do that. And even if you're outside of the US, you likely have even more strict rules than, than we do in the US. This is across all platforms, including social media. And a note at the bottom of your website or, or something that says affiliate disclaimer, click here is not going to work. At the moment at which you share something that is an affiliate link, you have to disclose that affiliate relationship. You just have to. Now, it actually is actually helpful because if you are providing value, like in the way that I taught you, people are going to look for your affiliate links to want to repay you for all that free, incredible information that you are giving them. Now, if you're promoting items on Amazon, right, this is a little bit different because they have specific rules. You must disclose the affiliate relationship, just like I told you with the other one, but you are not allowed to create links and emails and you're not allowed to put links in eBooks. I had my account banned for doing that. I learned the hard way. Links on social media and YouTube are okay. But again, when you mention that uh, affiliate link, also mention it in the description that there is an affiliate relationship there. Now, the way to get around this is to send people to a video instead of just putting that link in, in, in your email or in an ebook have a video resource, like a demo video, like I just said, point people toward that. And that's where those links and those disclosures are. Um, and yeah, you have to let people know that they're going to Amazon from your website. So two questions for you. And I just want to just see in the chat really quick, what was the most valuable piece of information that you picked up today, right? And the second follow-up question is, well, how valuable is actually that piece of content if you never put it into action? I hope that with what we learn here today, you could take away something that you can already start implementing, right? And hopefully this inspires you to get started on this journey to create these, these, these separate videos that can all intertwine with each other to own these particular spaces that you have some videos in on YouTube. And uh, Sean, with your permission and with everybody else's permission, I'd love to share a little bit about that course you mentioned earlier in case you want to go further with me because affiliate marketing is my game. I've taught this to, to thousands of people. People's lives have been changed from, from the efforts that I've uh, shared with uh, here today and, 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 and a lot of the further stuff I talk about. So Sean, do you mind if I talk a little bit about the course and then we can get into, um, you know, I can stick around for some questions and, and such as well. Awesome. I can't hear, but I'm going to assume that's a yes. <laughs> so um, this course, actually, let me let me get off screen here just in case. Okay, we're good. I'm in the show. Good to go, Pat. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, so let me go back and share the screen. And again, thank you all for, for watching this. I know I talked a lot. I had a energy drink right before this, so I probably had way too much. 
Uh, but let me share a screen one more time with you and we'll get into uh, the course. So my course is called 123 Affiliate Marketing and it's 123 Affiliate Marketing because it's literally step-by-step. -step. Do these things, find the right product. Here's how you connect with the company. Here's how you get the affiliate link. Here's where to put it. Here are the campaigns you can do, both passive and active to make this happen. In fact, one of my favorite parts about the course is we have a recipe book. So if you have, for example, a book that you want to promote as an affiliate, cool. Go into the recipe book under books and find the recipe to promote those books. Um, for example, this is a recipe called the webinar version one selling through teaching. If you're going to be promoting a software, you can use a webinar to promote that software and also earn an affiliate commission. Here's what, just like a recipe book, here's what you need, here's how to execute it, and here's what you're going to do. And in fact, if you want this one right here, because you being a video creator can do webinars very, very well, uh, you already have video experience, um, you can download this recipe here, smartpassiveincome.com slash recipe. That's, that's just for you. And with each of these different strategies, there's a different effectiveness, difficulty, right time to use it, all that kind of stuff. So this is, again, if you are going to be ever promoting a software and you want to do it in a uh, high value way using a webinar, uh, this is a great way to do it. And that's where you can get the recipe, smartpassiveincome.com slash recipe. Now, just a couple testimonials just to show you proof, again, that this is a course that has really, really helped people. This is William Beam. And he said, you know, I'm very selective about online courses I purchase, mostly because I'm just not sure about the value I'll receive in return. Uh, he has been able to not just make up for the cost, but also turn a profit as a result of his investment inside of 123 Affiliate Marketing. This is Prerna, who's a copywriter who already knows how to write good copy, but still said that there's a ton of value in here. And she's learned to pick, uh, to, she's picked up a couple things here and there to write even better copy with how to do affiliate marketing property, uh, properly and um, increase her revenue as well. Uh, here are just a lot more testimonials from people receiving their first commissions as a result of this. And so I want to invite you into a special promotion. If you go to thinkpatflin.com, you'll get access to 123 Affiliate Marketing for life. You'll also get access to the recipe book so that you can just literally copy exactly what to do. You'll get access to weekly office hours with me. I host office hours every single week for my students so that you can ask a question and move on or even stick around and join the community if you want. You'll also get access to a community, SPI Academy. And this is a special offer for Think Media followers only. Usually this course is $699. That's how much this course is offered on our website, but not for you because Sean and I are friends and because I want to help you out. And I know affiliate marketing can help you. This is only $499 today. So if you go to thinkpatflin.com, you'll see the sales page. You can get access to that. The uh, discount is already applied to that particular page, the special page. You'll even see pictures of Sean and I on there. Thinkpatflin.com and You'll also notice that, uh, that there are a couple bonuses that will be offered as well. Bonus number one coming in from Sean is just, and again, Sean, this was just so generous of you. Uh, bonus number one was this one here, the YouTube starter kit, which comes with a number of different things that you've already offered to your audience, just all packaged together in a kit, including title formulas, the clarity bl uh, blueprint, um, jump starting channel, uh, video ideas, uh, money-making video ideas, um, equipment tutorials, and even thumbnail training, which I find to be the most valuable thing uh, and where you can get a lot of upside on YouTube nowadays, um, $632 in total value just included for free uh, when you purchase 123 Affiliate Marketing. And bonus number two is Sean's personal branding masterclass where he walks you step-by-step -step through what it takes to build a personal brand, which obviously Sean has done so well and is the master of this. Um, and if that's of interest to you, this will be here as well. And that's a actually bigger value in 997 uh, dollar total value. So what happens is when you go through Think Pat Flynn, you'll also get immediately after purchase a link to go here to claim your free bonuses right away. Uh, you don't have to wait 30 days for that. You can get access to them right away. And this link to this page is available after purchase. I also want to offer you the win with Flynn guarantee. So there is a 30 day money back guarantee. If you get access to the course and you're like, Pat, this isn't for me or isn't what I thought, um, you know, that's my fault. And you'll be able to, with no questions asked, get your money back. Um, I'm confident, though, that this, this will be able to support you and help you out. So here's all you get for just $499, $200 off the regular price. If you go to thinkpatflynn.com, you get access to the starter kit, the branding masterclass, the guarantee, the community, the office hours with me, the recipe book, and the affiliate marketing course, of, uh, obviously. That's a lot of stuff. And again, uh, this is available for you right now, and we'd love to join, uh, have you in there. Uh, and, and even if it's not 
for you right now. Um, you know, just I want you to know that there is a lot of opportunity on YouTube right now. And it just takes one or two of these things to really help you get to that point where not only is it going to just pay you back already, but you can literally like with Sean and his journey, uh, affiliate marketing can absolutely change your life. And just unlocking a few doors here and there with partnerships that can help you uh, can, can put you in a new trajectory with your YouTube success, even before monetization at a thousand subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. So uh, again, thank you so, so much for having me today. And Sean, I hope that was helpful. Uh, some stuff that you've probably never even seen before in there. What do you think? Man, it was amazing, uh, Pat. We just got such powerful feedback from people. Here's the question. What was your aha moment uh, today? We love taking action. So drop uh, an aha moment, uh, something you want to do, an idea that you learned. Um, Pat, it was so powerful to see your video strategies. Um, pretty high level to think about the paid ad strategy back to affiliate programs. Um, but mm -hmm. I also loved how you just shared so many things for if we're just getting started and we feel kind of overwhelmed. If you if you have a question actually about Pat's uh, course, the the website is on the screen, so uh, there's you can see all the details and everything broke down there. But I also have some questions that have been coming in. We'll get to yeah. as many questions as we we'll, as we can here. Put four question marks before and after, and then we're also uh, doing today's training in what's called our Inner Circle program. And so just a second, I'll be doing hot seats and Q and A, probably about fifteen minutes. So we'll just kind of rapid fire some uh, Q and A here. Uh, but Pat. Uh, thank you for adding so much value, massive, uh, aha moments coming in and, uh, let's, uh, start crushing some questions. The coral reef talk says, is it a good idea to have affiliate links in the description of every video? I just released an Amazon prime video two days ago. And I see, I see clicks, but not conversions. It may just take time. What is your thought? YouTube descriptions and affiliate links. Yeah, you definitely should have the, uh, affiliate links in the description. But what's most important is in the video, you are able to sell this thing that and that that is clickable, right? Um, so it's really important that you have not just affiliate links, you know, a lot of uh, YouTube creators will have, uh, you know, these descriptions that are the same for every video that are just I think it's inside of YouTube settings, you can have like a default um, signature, if you will, for your uh, your video descriptions and they'll often include like hey get my favorite microphone here here's my favorite camera that's totally okay to do absolutely but because you're not necessarily talking about that directly in a video it's going to be tough to, to get conversions on that but you get one here and there and it's it's worth doing anyway because a lot of people have questions about those kinds of things but if you do create a video about a particular thing and you mention that link in the video and you also have it in the description but you aren't seeing a ton of clicks then we have to ask ourselves well why aren't we getting a ton of clicks or why aren't we getting a ton of conversions? If you are getting a lot of clicks, that's good. That's like step one. If you aren't getting a lot of clicks, then we need to understand why, and it's a positioning messaging problem. But if people aren't converting, it might just be they have some questions to ask. So what you might be able to do is go live to be there to support and answer questions, or at least in your community or in a community post, see what questions might be coming up related to that, because all it takes is one objection to just stop everybody from coming in, right? So they might have some questions at which point they're not quite ready to purchase. But if you answer those questions properly in a follow-up video or even in a community post, that can unlock the ability for them to now in the second touch point or third touch point or on social media or where, what have you uh, to, to follow through and, and convert. But yes, definitely have the links in the description. Just make sure you disclose that affiliate relationship. Um, one of the biggest questions we get, by the way, if you're getting value out of today's free masterclass, can you smash the like button? Maybe let somebody know about, uh, all this value here, especially in these interesting times we're living in, man, I couldn't recommend starting a side hustle, building side income, you know, starting to put content out there, starting to build your personal brand and starting to create extra streams of revenue. And so, mm -hmm. so much information here. And then of course, if you want to go to thinkpatflynn.com as well, you could see uh, deeper dive training and Pat's community and all that. Uh, stuff there. But this question comes in a, a lot, Pat, and I'm curious your take. And it's really like, how big do I need to be before I start? Justin asked, how many subs should I have before I start affiliate marketing? I know you mm. teach this. It's not just a YouTube thing too. It could be an email list size or social yeah. media following size. So break down your thoughts on uh, when to start, when to apply for the programs, things like that. So imagine that you have a target audience, as we all should, right? And you know that they have challenges or problems or pains that they're going through, and you found a solution. You have a product that you know would help them. Imagine you talk to somebody and they're like, Pat, I need help. 
I know you have a solution and you say, you know what, I would share it with you, but I don't have enough followers yet. Or you say, you know what, I, you know, my brand's not big enough for me to share it with you yet. Would you do that in real life? No way, right? You would absolutely, even if it was just a single person go, oh yeah, I know what can help you. Here it is. You don't have to worry about getting to a certain point before you could start. You should start right now because there are people out there who need a person like you in your way, with your expertise, with your experience to share something. And yes, there are other people sharing the same products, but different people resonate with different people. And you have a certain uh, group, right? Your vibe attracts your tribe and they're out there and they're waiting for a person like you with experience who's gone through something similar to share a product that can help them fast forward themselves or get that transformation that they've been looking for. You absolutely don't need, you could start from day one with zero subscribers and still make money because that's what you need to do. You need to serve people and, and you don't need a certain number of people to be able to do that. And one of the objections is though, is what, what if I don't get a, approved for the program yet though? Um, if I'm doing the application, of course you teach different SaaS products. It could be an email software and, and you've got to apply for the affiliate program on Amazon. What it typically is, is you actually apply a lot of times they'll approve you, but you have to make qualified sales within a certain number of days. So do you encourage people to have momentum so they can stay qualified for it? or any kind of any thoughts, like literally when to fill out the application? Yeah, I mean, you could, you can create a video and get no sales. But I would I was I would use that as encouragement to okay, how can I create a, vi a better video the next time so that I do create sales. And that way, you can actually be encouraged to reapply, you can always reapply to the Amazon program. And even if you don't get in, there are other things that you could promote. And I would still create videos about that product, even if you aren't getting a commission, because that is the right thing to do. Right. And then you come out with a following video, because when you do that, your your audience is going to continue to grow. And eventually you'll get to that point when you focus on service first, where Amazon will approve you and everything will, will sort of unlock for you. So that, that, that's the approach I would take as far as like specifically when to apply. Um, I, I would just apply ASAP and use that as light under the fire, fire under the light, fire under your butt, whatever it is. I would use that as encouragement to go, OK, I got to make these videos great. And again, you don't need any subscribers in order for a video to pop off and do really well and encourage your audience, right? So um, I think that that's the approach that I would take, Sean. What, what do you think? No, nope, beautiful. I love it. Now, this is an interesting question from Find My Film. What is your take on can we order products again and again from Amazon, review them, and then return them? You know, I'm not going to say that I know the legal answer to that, but I mean, honestly, the approach I would take would be become known in a particular space to a point where these companies are going to send you these products before you even ask them, right? That's eventually where you want to go. Now, eventually you're going to need to start somewhere. And if nobody knows who you are yet, if you haven't done enough video to sort of share an expertise or, 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 or define your space in, in, in a niche yet, then that's going to be very difficult. Honestly, I wouldn't approach it with the idea that I'm going to return them. I would actually try to build a relationship with that company first so that they'll send it to you, which is possible even if you don't have an audience yet. They like You can be persistent enough or you can show the professionalism that you'll have with supporting their thing. And many of these companies will send you loaners. That's another thing. You don't have to go through Amazon and go through a return thing. And yes, I know Amazon has a really good return policy. I personally would feel disingenuous doing that because I know that I'd be using them in a way that probably wasn't the way it was meant to be used. Um, again, I would I would come with the approach of how can I create enough to a point where a company is going to want to send me stuff and I'll have to, you know, be more likely to turn them away because I'm getting so much stuff, right? Um, so yeah, that that is an interesting take. I would start with products that maybe you already have so you don't have to go through that process or borrow products from other people. Um, you might get a loaner from a friend or, uh, and you can actually ask them about their experience and record a little bit about that to add a little bit more flavor to the story that you're telling. All right. Niche lightning round, uh, Peter on a poll, does affiliate marketing work with a sports channel? Any brainstormed ideas if someone's got, uh, talking about sports? Yeah, it depends on the way that you're talking about sports, right? If you are doing commentary on certain things like, scores and stuff, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because those things don't relate to the, you know, specific item that you're sharing. However, I know that I follow a number of sports 
channels. Um, I, for a very long time, was doing a lot of basketball. Uh, and I bought a lot of things from different people who were talking about and in, in, in doing training. I remember buying gloves that were like had some weights and they were like not they were like slick so that the ball sort of slides off and I can have better control. I spent like 75 bucks on those things, but it was because a person I trusted recommended them. Um, and I bought certain balls that had like Bluetooth on them so I could see what my shot percentages were and all that kind of stuff. Kind of kind of crazy what what power uh, an influencer has and you can be that influencer. Lately, I've been spending a lot of money on fishing lures because I've been doing a lot of bass fishing. Uh, I've been falling in love again with with fishing and following a lot of channels. And of course, I want more bass. That's my goal. They tell me which lure is going to catch me more bass. And guess what? I click on their affiliate links and they get paid and I get a lure and hopefully catch a fish. Um, so again, it depends on the kind of sports channel or what it is you're saying. But I would I would promote products where that obviously aligns with your audience. And if, if, even if it's not a direct thing, um, you know, you could test, you could see how a, an audience would respond to it or even talk to people individually to see how they might react if you were to promote something. Second niche, the Colorado whiskey guys, suggestions for alcohol based content. Some of the things that I've seen is there are, um, there are like, obviously alcohol has limitations in the viewership. And sometimes, you know, if you go to an, a website, it's like, are you 21 or over? So YouTube might have some limitations in the distribution of the videos, but nevertheless, there's, I always like to think about is there subscription boxes in my niche? Like there's geek box, nerd box, different ones like that. And it, that would be maybe relevant for even Pat's Pokemon channel. The audience would be into it. In this case, there's, there are ones that have different glassware, different smoky things you could add to the whiskey there's different things or even complementary things that would pair with alcohol and food so there's there could be affiliate things related to that but there's been some people in some of our youtube training and courses that are in the alcohol niche and they will do it's like glassware accessories cocktail accessories and yep. and kind of like the ancillary things that may be um not the direct you in some cases you can't probably do a, an affiliate promotion or even sell the alcohol online in that particular case. Pat, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I agree with you on that. A lot of the accessories and such, I've personally purchased some specific things to create ice cubes for the whiskey that I have at home. Um, I'm more of a Japanese whiskey guy, by the way, we should chat. Um, but uh, like, let's get creative here. You know, I know that eventually I'm going to be wanting to go to Japan to go on a Japanese whiskey tour. And I'm going to need to go somewhere to find recommendations for what are the best tours. What if you stepped up and said, you know what, I'm going to create a, a resource on my website or, or some videos where I'm going to go to these whiskey tours and I'm going to work with these companies and I'll be an affiliate for them. And anybody who comes through my link and goes on one of those tours, they're going to hook me up with something like whether it's a commission or a free product or, or what have you. So that could be an interesting way to do it. Um, also, Collect an email list. When you build an email list, you have a lot more control on the kinds of things that you can do there. And obviously, I would also connect with an attorney or some, some professional who can make sure that you are in alignment with the things that you should be doing with relation to that. Because that is, you know, a specialty topic that does require some other things that, you know, you want to keep your safe for. So, um, or yourself safe for. So, yeah, uh, you can get creative with a lot of these things and just think of all the things that you're interested in, make a list of them, and you might be able to find some interesting uh, partnerships that, Maybe you weren't there uh, on the surface. Man, we're crushing the niches. We got Jose, any suggestions for personal finance and crypto channel? I always like to ask about software. Personal finance is huge. You can be an affiliate for like these uh, crypto trading sites, although there's some drama in this during this crypto winter there. Some of them are shutting down, but you've got uh, a lot of it's very lucrative to be inside of apps mm -hmm. and or crypto trading, stock trading sites. Um, what do you think about personal finance and crypto? Yeah, this actually brings up a topic that I think is really important. You know, let's take um, crypto, for example. There's a lot of different tools that you could use for crypto. There's um, crypto.com, there's Coinbase, and like several others. Um, you could take the approach of, hey, I'm going to create resources to sh compare and show all these things against each other. And, you know, a lot of people do that already. And then they have links to specifically join those platforms. And that's one way that you could uh, generate a commission. I know a lot of YouTubers who uh, work with these companies and have them as brand sponsorships as well. Um, but it's the idea of, do you recommend a tool? Do you recommend 
multiple different solutions for a problem, or do you step up and pick one of them and have that be your primary sort of go-to, right? So I have, for example, I have uh, many different email service providers that I could actually promote as an affiliate, and some of which could make me more money than with my ConvertKit one, which is my main one. But when you understand that you are going to be playing expert curator, when you are a curator, that is of service to your audience, and you could get paid for that from the level of service that you're stepping up to help sort of like remove all the noise out there for people. When you like the, the approach of saying, you know what, hey, there's a lot of tools that you could use out there. This is the one I recommend. You're saving people time. You're making sure that people don't have to waste their time doing research because you've already done that research to go, hey, this is the tool that you should use for this. Here's my link and here's how to use it. Here are all the videos about it. And guess what? That company is going to notice that eventually to notice that you picked their product over the others. Because when you start playing like reviewer, you can't really get into as much depth and you can't as easily develop these relationships because you're trying to be buddy buddy with everybody. Versus, hey, I chose this one crypto tool. This is what I recommend. And then you create a nice relationship with them. They're going to hook you up and you'll be able to create some unique partnership uh, deals and things from there. So that, that, that's what I would do. Um, so again, one of those cases of share what you do and the tools that you use to do it. And it doesn't even have to be about the tools. People just see you using those tools. They want to use the same tools because they want to get the same results as you, right? It's like, the difference of Sean creating a review video for a particular camera versus teaching this really high level um, program about how to cr create amazing photography. He just happens to use the camera that is, you know, there in his hands all the time. People want to use that same camera. They'll actually ask what camera do you use? I want to get that same thing. And it just becomes a very high value um, serve first approach to the content that you create. Man, Pat Flynn, you're just dropping the fire today and I want to thank you for all the value. Also, uh, if you're watching this, I want you to know that uh, when you go to thinkpatflynn.com, if you're wondering, what do I do next? If you go to thinkpatflynn.com, you can see this special offer that Pat put together uh, for our community. And so you can see the discount is already applied. This is Pat's um, course on affiliate marketing. I'm sure you have a lot more questions. Um, and one, two, three affiliate marketing, it's where it's at. You can actually see the entire course outline here. So I recommend checking it out to see what am I going to learn? What are all the details? What is inside of here? And then as a reminder, um, I, I, we're also including a couple extra bonuses that are no extra charge, uh, to you. Obviously Pat's course is already immensely valuable at the full price. He's already given a discount, but we're throwing in our YouTube starter kit and our personal branding masterclass. Now, I wanted to give you just a little bit of value on that because, you know, uh, this is worth writing down. What makes up your personal brand, your unique point of view? What makes up your personal brand, your personality, your process, your expertise, your values and beliefs, your ideas, your reputation, your personal stories, and your purpose and your mission? And one of the ways to supercharge affiliate marketing is by powering up your personal brand. You know, the thing is, uh, the reason why. I trust Pat Flynn is because I trust Pat Flynn <laughs> because he has built a reputation online. He's consistently educated and out uh, added value. He's world-class in his content. Then when you meet him in a Q and a, or you meet him on a live stream or you meet him at an event or you meet him. And then when you read a book, like you're consistently building your reputation. Well, how do you build a personal brand just as extra value? I wanted to include my masterclass in this because the key to really deeper than a tactic with affiliate marketing is building real trust, is building a reputation online where people trust you, they get to know you, and as you become more known and build your authority and become established as an authority in your niche, you actually see your revenues rise across all different monetization strategies because ultimately we do business with people we know. How do you get known? People we like. How do you actually build that affinity and people we trust? How is it that we build trust online Again, just some extra value. So if you have any questions about all that, thinkpatflynn.com is where the details are. You can click the link to see all those details. Pat, I just want to thank you so much for adding massive value to our community. Final question from the author of Will It Fly? Uh, one of my favorite books that you wrote about launching ideas. Of course, your book, Super Fans. That's another side note is like getting all of Pat's books is just kind of a no brainer. He's absolutely world class in his information. But Entrepreneurship, the journey in entrepreneurship has a lot of highs and a lot of lows. 
give us just a final send off for maybe some people are on the mountaintop or maybe they're in the valley. What are just some final words from Pat Flynn? You know, connect with a community of like-minded people. The most important thing I did for my business journey was investing in not just content that helped me get to where I wanted to go, not just courses that helped me with transformations, but with access to people. And I know that many of you are inside of Inner Circle already and some other places, but this is like the biggest transformations in my life have come as a result of other people seeing things that I didn't by seeing other people's journey before I went down the same path. That is of massive value. So if you aren't yet a part of Sean's community uh, or other communities online, like do that. And even if you're an introvert like me, hopefully you can realize the value in that. And the, 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 the biggest thing is within those communities, ask for help if you need it. You know, I often uh, shied away from that because I felt embarrassed or I felt like I wasn't worthy or I didn't have anything of value to give back. But you do. All of you have massive value to give because you have care. You have, you, you, you just, you step up and care about others and things will happen, right? And when you serve first, the world will pay you back in so many uh, amazing ways. So thank you so much. And Randall, I appreciate that comment. And I'm really looking forward to uh, connecting with you. Some of you in the courses, some of you got in already, and I'm excited to work with you in there. Uh, and some of you online and on the YouTubes and, you know, hopefully at another growth uh, or, or another event in the future um, with Sean and just so many opportunities to connect. And it's all about people. So Sean, thank yeah, you. Flynn. Thank you so much, sir. First, appreciate you. And thanks again for adding massive value uh, today. Of course, uh, follow Pat. You can check him out, Pat Flynn on Instagram and uh, check out links wherever you're watching this in description. I appreciate your kind words today. Smash like if you got value. Um, and then Chris, yes, you absolutely can watch this as a replay, take notes and benefit from that. Click or tap the screen to watch another video if you happen to be watching this on the YouTube stream because from here, we're gonna go inside of our Inner Circle program to do some Q&A and hot seats. My name is Sean Cannell, Ribbons with YouTube channel and I will see you in a future video or podcast. Thanks so much for being